welcome back to the channel. My name is Alex, and today I'm going to be talking about the new Disney Plus movie, the newest Disney live-action remake, Peter Pan and Wendy. Peter Pan and Wendy is directed by David Lowery, and he co-wrote the script as well. Wendy Darling, a young girl afraid to leave her childhood home behind, meets Peter Pan, a boy who refuses to grow up. Alongside her brothers and a tiny fairy, Tinkerbell, she travels with Peter to the magical world of Neverland. There, she encounters an evil pirate captain, Captain Hook, and embarks on a thrilling adventure that will change her life forever. Now, I've already said my spiel about the Disney live-action remakes when I reviewed Pinocchio last year. I think that they're unnecessary cash grabs and view grabs, but at the same time, I'm always curious to see how the animation would translate into a live-action movie. And this is essentially a remake of Peter Pan. Peter Pan's a story I've never really been fond of. I love Hook. Hook is, a, is an amazing movie. Childhood right there. It's so good, but the actual story of Peter Pan itself, even though it has themes about never growing up, it's never really resonated with me as a story, which is why I think that this movie is kind of in the middle of the pack for the Disney live action remakes for me. I've seen a lot of praise for it, and, I, and that praise is understandable. David Lowry is a great director. He is by far the most visionary director that these live action remakes have had. He's the one who feels like that he is actually making a movie. He uses a lot of sets instead of all, a lot of CGI, a lot of practical effects as well. And I gotta commend him for that. I've always thought his work on Peach Dragon was so overlooked because I think Peach Dragon is actually an overlooked live action remake. I don't think a lot of people really consider Peach Dragon a live action remake, but it is. And I think his work on that is so overlooked and so underrated. I'm glad Disney brought him back to do a movie. For me, with Peter Pan and Wendy, when you give him the budget that you did, Compare this to something like Pinocchio or Lady and the Tramp that also went straight to Disney+. Plus. Those movies feel like Disney Plus movies. The feeling I got here was that this was intended for a theatrical release. It feels like there's a lot more money thrown at the screen. There's a lot more care put into the actual product here. And that could be because of David Lowry himself. So I gotta sing the praises of David Lowry for this movie. The child actors were actually... Pretty good. I can't really harp on child performances. They're just there to do a job. They're there to try and get it done. They're just being told what to do. And, you know, it's not really their fault. It's, I, I've learned that over the years. You can't hark on them too much. But I thought that the, the actress that played Wendy was really good. The boy that played Peter Pan was really good as well. Uh, but I think Jude Law really steals the show here as Captain Hook. He brings a lot of gravitas as Captain Hook. He's, I don't think he's as good as Dustin Hoffman. Dustin Hoffman is, well, like, it will forever be my favorite Captain Hook. But I think he's a lot better than whatever Hugh Jackman was doing in that Pan movie from 2015 that they made. I know he wasn't Captain Hook in that. He was Blackbeard for some reason. I have no idea why. And I think he is better than Jason Isaacs. I think he brings a little bit more energy to the role than those other actors brought to their respective roles. And I understood where Hook was coming from, from a viewpoint with everything he's trying to accomplish in this movie. And a lot of that has to do with Jude Law's presence in the movie. His presence is felt in every scene. I like a lot of the locations. I like that Neverland is just this big island. It's not this mystical, mythical, magical place that we know it to be, but it feels magical. And that's probably the biggest praise I have for this movie, is that it's a live action remake that still feels magical. It doesn't capture all of the magic of the original, but at least it has some of that magic that a lot of these live action remakes have been lacking and a lot of people have been complaining about. The way I look at it is there's two versions of the movie. You can have the original and then you have the live action remake for a new generation. It's not gonna, they're never gonna be as good as their animated counterparts. But if you can at least capture some of that magic, then I'm in. If you don't do a shot for shot remake, like say The Lion King did, but, but you add enough to the movie to make it its own thing, that's what I really want from these live action remakes. You can recreate all the scenes from the movie as long as there's enough differences in these live action remakes to make these live action remakes their own thing. And that's how I felt with Peter Pan and Wendy. It, it wasn't a shot for shot remake. 
It felt like its own thing. It felt like it had its own vision. It wasn't trying too hard to replicate what came before, and David Lowry understood that. There's some green screen issues I have. You can tell in close-up shots of them flying, obviously, they're against the green screen, but it's a little wobbly, you know, and t the CGI effects aren't that great either, like Tinkerbell flying in everywhere. It's very, very noticeable, and you can tell that where <laughs> that this was made during that era where special effects artists that work for Disney don't have enough time to work on the movies, and it sticks out like a sore thumb in this movie. There's, I also didn't really like the fight choreography in this movie. I felt it was too slow. There's a couple of sword fights in this movie, and it seemed like David Lowry wanted to push the boundaries of what you can get away with in a PG-rated Disney movie. But it almost feels like Disney interfered and stepped in and said, Hey, no, 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 you can't do that. And David Lowry was like, well, Pirates of the Caribbean. No. No. That's its own thing. You can't do that here. And so when they're sword fighting, it's like... <laughs> it just kind of looks like they're waving them around. Like, I'm ready for one of them to go, Tally ho! And some of those props do look like they are rubber and plastic. So I'm like, that? But I guess the movie's not sticking with me because I'm just not the biggest fan of the Peter Pan story itself. However, it is a competently directed movie that is its own thing compared to the animated counterpart. And everybody in the movie does a good enough job to make it competent. It does, it does look like it has a lot of money thrown at the screen, so I'm interested to know if this was originally supposed to be a theatrical movie. I think it was, and then they just repurposed it for Disney+. Plus and. I kind of wish they did. I really, really would have liked to have seen this on the big screen. It's not my favorite of the Disney live action remakes. And as I said in the open, I know that a lot of people are touting this as in one of the better live action remakes. It is, but for me, it's more middle of the pack. And that's mostly because I'm not a big fan of the Peter Pan story itself. I'm going to say I enjoyed Peter Pan and Wendy with more than a half bucket of popcorn. Not quite at three fourths worth, but... It's, it's solid. It's a solid live action remake. I would have liked it more, I think, if I was into the story of Peter Pan itself. And that's by no fault of this movie. That's just personal preference for me from watching other Peter Pan properties, minus Hook, because Hook's amazing, uh, growing up. So that's just me. If you guys have seen Peter Pan and Wendy on Disney+, Plus, let me know what you thought about it. Drop me some feedback in the comments section below. I'll leave my links to my website in the description below as well. You guys are the best. Thank you for watching. My name is Alex Madden, and I will see you at the movies somewhere.